Ladies and gentlemen, you know, with AI technology from the beginning, there's been all kinds of biases. The reason why there is bias is because the people designing the software is putting their racial bias into the software. And this is why it continues to happen. There's another case of a black man being accused of a crime and the uh, you know, the artificial intelligence software got it completely wrong. You know, you would think after all of this time, they would have fixed this. But I guess as long as it's happening to us, there's no need to fix anything. So facial recognition error led to wrongful arrest of innocent black man. And this was a man from Georgia he was jailed in Louisiana, you know, and of course the state faced all kinds of criticism over this. And this is a very common thing that happens exclusively to people that have melanated skin. You know, there's been all kinds of cases, but they continue to use this technology and it just goes to show you how flawed It really is. The use of facial recognition technology by Louisiana authorities resulted in the mistaken arrest of a Georgia man on a fugitive warrant. So this was Randall Reed, 28 years old, was arrested in DeKalb County, Georgia on November 25th after authorities misidentified him as a purse thief. So, um, and this is for a crime that happened in Baton Rouge. (laughs) Wow. Mm -mm -mm. They told me I had a warrant out of Jefferson Parish. I said, What Jefferson Parish, Reed said, I have never been to Louisiana a day in my life. Then they told me that it was for a theft. So not only have I not been to Louisiana, I also don't steal. So he spent time in jail and he was released on December 1st when authorities realize there was an error. So, you know, they know this technology is heavily flawed, but they continue to use it and continue to be wrong. So Reed is black and his arrest warrant brings renewed attention to the use of the technology that critics say leads to higher rates of misidentification of people of color. That's what it says in the article. According to the Times and the New Orleans Advocate. But you know what, y'all? It's not people of color. It's consistently, it's consistently us melanated folks, okay? It's not all races. You don't see this happening to Asians and um, people of other races, Arabs. So no, it's us because this country has all kinds of biases when it comes down to us. And like I said, they're putting their bias in the software. You know, this is really a good test. There are barking dogs outside right now and it didn't pick up at all on my mic. So I guess this uh, noise canceling is better than I thought. So anyway, let me get on with the show here. So ladies and gentlemen, this technology could easily mess up somebody's life. There could easily be a case because, you know, there's a lot of wrongful imprisonment that goes on in this country. And this could have easily kept Randall Reed behind bars for decades. That's why this technology can be a dangerous thing. And, you know, they know 
the flaws that are in it, but they continue to do this and they use it and it continues to fail when it comes down, especially particularly black men. So it's a good thing it got caught and he was released from jail pretty quickly. He looked like he spent uh, probably two, three days behind bars, but he really should not have faced any of that. You know, I, I don't know why it's so difficult for many of these cops to believe that maybe the technology is flawed. And this man is telling you he's never, ever been to Louisiana. He's never been there a day in his life. But you know how it is. No matter what we say, they just, it's almost like they turn their ear switch off and they can't hear or understand anything that you're saying to them. But then you're left looking foolish when you got the wrong person. You know, so my question is how well are you really doing your job? Because it don't look like you're really good at it. So, Ladies and gentlemen, how do you feel about this? How do you feel that they know these flaws are there, but nothing is being done to correct it? And they continue to use AI that is heavily flawed with not a care in the world. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.